Hi, my name is Anne Brady, and I welcome you to a Mentoring Writers Resource Box podcast. Listen to learn more about the writing world. After all, the more you learn, the better writer you can become. Many authors know that having readers who are loyal followers can make it easier for them to sell their follow-up books. We tend to find that reader loyalty arises mainly from their love of a book. But you can also generate followers by creating a good online presence. However, being able to attract readers by having them engage with you online does take time and effort. As such, the downside is that you might not gain any immediate revenue, meaning that the return on the investment from all your efforts will prove to be a little difficult to ascertain. But the upside is that you may well find significant long-term gains in discovering you have loyal fans who are willing to pre-order, review and enthusiastically encourage their friends to buy and read your next book. The question is though, how can we authors engage online with our existing readers? Well, after some research, we have discovered a few interesting ideas that other authors appear to employ in order to link with their fans. And so, in today's podcast, we are going to share these with you in the hope that these ideas will help you find some new and interesting ways that will encourage you to interact more with your readers. Once you do, you can then test which strategies are the most successful for engaging your unique audience. Let's begin by asking your readers' opinions. One good way to engage your readers with minimal effort is to ask for their opinion. Now, it doesn't matter whether or not the question relates directly to your book. The idea of asking is that you are involving the readers in your writing life, thus making them feel appreciated. Doing so will make them feel special as they are engaging with their author's online persona. Try and pair your question with an image as it appears that according to Facebook Insights, these posts with images receive two to three times more engagement than those without images. One author I know who writes sci-fi frequently includes interesting snippets of trivia, photos or videos that relate to his target readers in his Facebook posts. He will include a relevant image as he asks his readers their opinions on the subject matter. I notice these posts are responded to quite well as his fans love sharing their ideas and thoughts. The result is that when it's time for him to promote his books, they pay a lot of attention. Next, consider offering a discount on your current book or the next one in exchange for a review. I know many authors crave reviews, finding them a valuable form of reader engagement as they believe they will help convince other prospective readers to buy a book. However, because of this, many authors end up discounting their books. Often, they will also update their back matter, again asking readers to leave a review. Data has shown that discounting a book and or running a featured deal can be an effective strategy. It is said that 70% of authors who did this saw increased measures of exposure in, say, reviews, Facebook likes or email list sign-ups. Plus, for those authors who requested readers to review their back matter, there was an 84% increase in reviews. Another interesting way of engaging your readers is to offer a creative author Q&A. I have seen some authors who have encouraged their fans to ask them questions for inclusion in a combination question and answer session. This can be done as a blog post online, a live session, or even as a pre-recorded video for social media or your website. They have also run it as a contest opportunity. This is where those who send in a question will have their name put into a hat with the opportunity to win a signed copy of their latest book. Don't forget, if you do this one, remember to add an image so it catches the reader's eyes. Of course, 
you wouldn't do this type of offer on a regular basis, but as a one-off promotion, and the results might just amaze you. Next, trying to arrange for readers to get together is probably a hard one, but it's not an impossibility for targeted promotions. If your aim is to get more clicks and sales and you have the budget to dedicate to a campaign, then targeting readers who've already expressed interest in you, the author, is a great way to go. These readers are probably looking for new books to enjoy, so a targeted promotion can drive for better engagement. Ad platforms are a good way here. You could use sites such as BookBub, where members are readers looking for books to buy. This site allows both authors and publishers to reach relevant readers and existing fans. However, if you would prefer to see more comments and likes, then social media sites such as Facebook and the old Twitter allow you to... <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot call it X for the life in me. So X allows you to target ads to a fine-tuned audience. You can set your market based on users' preferences. Although they may not necessarily be looking for books to buy, you will at least reach people interested in a specific author. Another fun promotion is to organise a scavenger hunt giveaway. Running online scavenger hunts can be a great and fun way to get existing fans, as well as new ones, discovering more about your books while trying to get the freebies. One YA author ran a giveaway where participating readers had to follow a specific hashtag that had been set up on Twitter. Doing so led them to see her questions. All the answers could be found on specific pages on her website. She also worked with other authors who answered people's questions on the hashtag page. She advertised the scavenger hunt on social media with an image that announced when it would start and how many books she was willing to give away. I believe she chose 20 books, but she did have a wide collection of books in her catalogue. Another contest you could organise is a trivia one. Such contests are a great way to engage those fans who have already read one of your books and you want them to consider buying your next one, as well as engaging new readers. One author ran a trivia contest on, I think it's Tumblr, where the winner would receive a free advanced read copy of a new novel. Those who participated had to email their responses to her, with each correct answer being worth four points. This author loves to design special swag or run creative contents for prize giveaways. She did say, whilst she says she's not sure if her efforts reach new readers, it is important to let her existing readers know how relevant they are to her. So this really was based at keeping her fan base that she got and hopefully new fans would join. Now this particular trivia contest apparently got great response and she thought perhaps because the readers love the challenge of it. For the trivia contest, the author asked about seven questions that were relevant to the book she was giving away. This particular book was for children. And the questions ranged from what colour one character's eyes were, to what part did another character play in the school pantomime. Now obviously, one has to read the book to answer the questions. So if you read the first book, you would know what the answers were. It could be a difficult one, that. But then again, if you are the one that writes a lot in a series, then that could be an easy competition-type promotion for you to do. Another option for promotion is to use videos which make interactions more personal. And I must say that video is a great way to grab any existing and potential new reader's attention as it engages them in a personal way. Creating videos might seem a lot of work, so it is relevant to keep them short. Those authors' videos that will get tons of engagement are usually under one minute long. And as they are not professionally produced, fans appear to love them. As a publisher, I find creating mini videos to advertise new and existing books are a fantastic way to engage readers and new readers. It's also one way one author asked her fans what she should write about in her next book. Doing this resulted in making her fans feel involved in her writing process as if they'd been part of the creativity of the story. An alternative option is to ask readers to create teaser images. That sounds a fun one. 
Would you like to crowdsource some book marketing assets? Hmm. Well, why not run a contest where your readers submit teaser designs as their entry? This could prove to be lots of fun for your loyal readers who just might want to show off their design skills. One author decided to ask her readers to become involved in a creator teaser contest. She wrote two quotes from one of her books and asked participants to email their entries to her. She featured all the entrants on her website and social media, asking people to vote on who they would choose as the best. This would give her a people's vote. Then setting a deadline, she asked a couple of author friends and an illustrator for their opinions, from which they chose an overall winner and a couple of runners-up. All winners received a selection of prizes. This contest resulted in some great creative entries. Have a go at getting your giveaway entrants to tell a story of their own. Hmm, this sounds interesting. Getting your entrance to like, share or retweet a post is an easy form of entry. But what about them being more involved? Why not consider asking participants to tell you something about themselves, say a sort of story of their own? One author, running a 12 Days of Christmas giveaway, asked participants for a chance to win one special prize by telling her about a favourite Christmas story from their childhood. Surprisingly, this got more than 1.6 thousand comments, as many fans willingly shared what their favourite Christmas story was and why. Now, I could see a book coming out of that. Another bright and colourful idea is to host an art contest. Hosting an art contest can be a super way to let your loyal fans feel more involved in the creative process for a book. It can also help you garner some great artwork that you can share on social media. This will help build a buzz about your new book and you could even offer a great prize. One author, along with her publisher, launched a fan art contest where participants submitted fan art for a previous book. The winner or winners would receive an ARC, Advanced Reader's Copy, of the new book due out. Participants had to submit their art via an online form, with the publisher creating a Tumblr to display all of the entries. Now you could adapt this method using your social media to show all the entrants and asking an illustrator friend to help you choose a winner. An alternative way to collect entries, as I said earlier, is to create a hashtag so participants can post the artwork on Instagram, where you can easily find them. Not only does this promote you, but also is a great way to give fan art more exposure. If you're aware of book groups, so why not create a specific readers group? If you can give your readers a dedicated space, then it's bound to help them feel more connected to you, the author, and your books. It could be that your community has only a few dozen members. Yes, I know, some do have hundreds or thousands. But those who do participate will more than likely become loyal followers, ones who promote you and your writing. You can use Facebook groups to host these communities. One of the perks of membership is being able to interact with you, the author, in a closed setting. You could run live video chats, answering your fans' questions. And that's it. There's a lot more ways to promote and link with your readers. The aim is to build up your followers, so any ideas you have is always worth the attempt. And if they don't produce the results you want, then leave them and try something new. You can always adapt and try the failed one again later on. If you need help with any aspect of your writing or interested in the other services we offer or would like to chat with a mentor, then please check out our website or why not email us at contact at mentoringwriters.co.uk and we will endeavour to assist you in your writing journey. Good book promotion planning. This was Anne Brady bringing you a Mentoring Writers Resource Box podcast. Thank you for listening and we hope you will join us again.